Hi everyone, welcome to Vishwabloom. So in this video, we will be looking at class 8, aim 2, challenges of trigonometry. So let's begin. So the fifth question is, in a right angle triangle ABC, so there is a right angle triangle. Fifth question we are doing. So well, let's take one right angle or triangle over here. Naming is A, B, C. Okay. Then, uh, next what we have to see, the question is, angle C is 90. So, now change the naming first. That means full diagram, we have to change it. Okay, let me change. So, it is A, B, C. Now, C is 90 degree, right? Hmm. Fine. Now, what they have given first, we will write it on the side. So, angle C is 90 degree. And they also told that BC plus a CA is equal to 23 centimeter. Okay. And BC minus CA also they told that is 7 centimeter. Fine. Now what we have to find? Sin A we have to find. And what else is tan B we have to find. Okay, let's see this question now. So the first step is we will add these two. Okay, so now what we can do? We can just cancel this plus CA minus CA cancel. Then BC plus BC is 2BC. Then 23 plus 7 is 30. Fine. Now, uh, we have to find value of BC. So, BC value. Oh, we have to. One second. So, now 2 will go to RHS. It becomes uh, 30 by 2. So, BC will be 30 by 2, 15. Okay. Now, in this one of the equation, we will put BC value and we will find the value of AC. So, I am choosing the first equation. So, here I am writing BC plus AC, CA or AC both are same itself is equal to 23 centimeter. I am choosing this. Now, BC is 15 plus AC is equal to 23. Sorry, 23. And then AC is equal to 23 minus 15. It is 8. Then, now what we have to find... The values which are being found actually in the question is BC is 15. AC is 8. AC. Now remaining we can find easily right. That is the AB hypotenuse. So hypotenuse we can use the Pythagorean theorem and do it. So let's do, do Pythagorean theorem and solve it. So formula uh, as we all know this one will consider it as X. So it will be easy x square is equal to 8 square plus 15 square. So that one answer when you add these two up, you will be getting 64 plus 15 square is 225. Right? So x square. Now it is 289. So x square is 289. Then x value will be square root of 289, that is 7. So, we can write that as x as a, b, right? So, let's write it as a, b. Now, a, b, 17 instead of x, put 17. Okay, now we'll solve that remaining part. So, first we have to find sin a. So, sin a in the sense, this is the point of theta, right? The point of theta is A. So, from that, if we find op a formula is opposite by hypotenuse, so it is 15 by 17. Then tan T tan B. That means from this point of theta, we have to solve this. Okay. So, that one, it is a opposite by adjacent. It is 8 by 15. So, we found the answers. Now, we will see sixth question. Now we will see the sixth question in challenges. The question is find the value of 4, 3, 4 by 3 or tan square 30 degree plus sin square 
और सिक्सटी डिग्री माइनस और थ्री कॉस स्क्वायर सिक्सटी डिग्री थ्री कॉस स्क्वायर सिक्सटी प्लस थ्री बाई फोर और टेन स्क्वायर सिक्सटी माइनस टू और टेन फोर्टी फाइव ओके सो आई थिंक नाउ यू आर एबल टू सी द फुल थिंग यस सो नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू सो वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट सॉरी वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सो लेट्स फाइंड द वैल्यू फॉर दिस सो फर्स्ट सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज ऑफ टेन थर्टी टेन साइन सिक्सटी ऑल दैट वील सब्सटीट्यूट ओके इक्वल्स टू ओके फोर बाय थ्री टेन थर्टी इज वन बाय रूट थ्री सो वन बाय रूट थ्री होल स्क्वेर बिकॉज स्क्वेर इज देयर राइट प्लस दिस सिक्सटी इज रूट थ्री बाय टू नो स्क्वेर ऑल्सो वेव टू एड माइनस थ्री इंटू कॉस स्क्वेर कॉस इज कॉस सिक्सटी इज वन बाय टू होल स्क्वेर ना प्लस थ्री बाय फोर टेन सिक्सटी इज और वन बाय टू सॉरी सॉरी रूट थ्री रूटी होल स्क्वायर माइनस टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन फाइन नाउ वी हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस व्हेन यू सिंप्लीफाई फर्स्ट इज रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री बिकम्स थ्री सो स्क्वायर विल गो ऑन इट विल बिकम रूट थ्री ओनली ओके सो व्हेन यू सॉल्व ऑल दैट नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी you you should multiply everything so root 3 square is 3 so root 3 square 3 again here 4 everything will change okay so that one directly i am writing by multiplying so it is this will be 4 by 9 plus here when you add up it will become 3 by 4 then there minus 3 by 4 when you multiply and simplify i am saying this and plus 9 by 2 sorry 9 by 4 minus 2 as it is over there In the last, so this plus three by four minus three by four cancel. Then these two are there, no? That one we will solve now. Four by nine plus nine by four, or uh, minus two. So this one we have to solve. Finding the LCM, LCM is thirty six for this. So that will be sixteen plus eighty one minus seventy two by Thirty six. That is twenty five by thirty six. Right now we'll see the seventh question. So seventh question is find the value of cos zero degree a uh, plus sine ninety degree and plus square root of root of Sine forty five degree. Okay, so what is cos zero? One plus sine ninety is one plus this root two as it is into sine forty five is one by root two. So root two root two cancel one plus one plus one right. So is one plus one plus one. That is going to be three. Now we'll see eighth one. Sorry, ninth one first. We'll see eighth one is the simplest one ever. I can say in the full book it is the simplest one, the simple one. First question is sine square thirty degree plus a cos square thirty degree. So actually there is a identity called sine square theta. Plus cos square theta. So this theta should be same angle. Then only it will work out one. So by this only we can say answer is one. That's it over first bit. Second bit. This and all this identity we are going to learn in aim four. Okay. So that that one now only I taught you. It's very easy, right? Hmm. Now second one secant uh, square forty five degree minus. tan square forty five degree is equal to what we have to find. So one more rule is there in the M four only secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one. So theta should be same, right? Same. So this is also one only. 
Now third bit. Third bit is uh, cosecant square 60 degree uh, minus cot square 60 degree. We have to find. So there is one more rule in M4 only. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. So this is answer is 1. Okay. So hope you all understood it. All three answers are 1 only. Okay. Now we will see ninth one. Now, ninth one we will see. So, we have to find A and B. If sin A plus B is equal to a root 3 by 2 and that is equal to a cos into A minus B. Right? So, also one more hint is given. A and B are acute angles. Okay? Let's solve this. So, the first step to be done is, first let's take this only. This one we will keep it to a side. So, sin A plus B is equal to root 3 by 2. Right? So, sin, this root 3 by 2 is the value of, first right, sin A plus B is equal to, so root 3 by 2 is sin 60. Okay, now what we can take common a plus b and 60. So this sine sine will get cancelled, right? Because uh, this will go LHS means divided by sine. So sine sine cancel. So you directly I'm doing it. Now a plus b is equal to 60 degree. Hope you understood. Now next cos a minus b is equal to root 3 by 2. Same thing. Now, this root 3 by 2 is cos 30. So, cos A minus B is equal to cos 30 degree. Fine. So, now this cos cos cancel. Then, A minus B is 30 degree. So, one second I will set it. Okay, so we found A minus B also. So this one we will take as equation number 1. This one we will take as equation number 2. Now, uh, this two are there, no? We will add it up. Sorry, 1 and 2 we are going to operate with. Operate with 1 and 2. So, A plus B is equal to 60 degree. A minus B is equal to 30 degree. Now what we will do? This plus B minus B cancel it. Then A plus A, 2A. 60 plus 30, 90. Then A is equal to 90 by 2, 45. 45 degree. Now substitute A is equal to 45 degree in one any one of the equation. Not only equation 1 or 2. One of the equation. So I am writing in equation 1. Okay. So in equation 1 when I substitute it is A plus B is equal to 60 degree. Now A value is 45. So I will write it there. 45 plus B is equal to 60 degree. Right. Now B is equal to 16 degree minus 45 degree. And B is 15 degree. And we found A, A value 45, B value 15. So finally we found both the values. With this we completed our challenges. Now we will see classroom packages.